You're married to me. <laughs> so, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever it is, wherever you are. Welcome back to the Lost Begotten's Law Gossip, hashtag Law Gossip uh, Legal Analysis Service provided by Kira. Kira Daily, as opposed to Kira Nightly. Wait, what? <laughs> it's, the, it's time for the Kira Daily. And nightly and ever so rightly. <laughs> Maybe after a few ham sandwiches. I thought that's supposed to come after. That's a skinny bitch, man. Right. <laughs> Anyways. <clears throat> so. CNN, after a day of failing to report the fucking smoking gun of collusion. Basically, it's been proven by a Mueller court filing that the Trump campaign itself was essentially a treasonous operation. But they're not talking about that. They're going to have a headline saying, Judge denies Stormy Daniels motion to depose Trump. At least they put the apostrophe in the right place, though. Which is not correct entirely. Right. This this headline is misleading, which pisses me off about CNN, because I kind of oh. like CNN overall. I thought that was me. I was like, what are you doing? Um, I kind of like CNN, for the most part, ish. Um, but it, this is just so misleading that it's it, it really pisses me off. I actually pulled up. Ah, now my fingers in the way. So I actually pulled up the order that they're talking about that the judge denied. <laughs> um, you pulled up the order. I did. With your mad legal skills? No. Actually, it's public record. If CNN has a hold of it, it's very easy She's to like, find. No, it's actually, actually, it's just public record, this thing that I can fucking miraculously pull out of my ass. And... It, it really didn't. There's links to it in, in every news, plus every news oh, yeah. station that's reporting it, they have a link to the order. Oh, okay. Most people just don't take the time to bother to read it because they get through the first sentence and they're like, uh, fuck this. <laughs> Which is why it pisses me off that they're as misleading in this headline as they are because not very many people who aren't already in the legal field or interested in the legal field are going to take the time to go through that four page order. Right. That's citing cases. But you're like, just fascinating. I am. I'm always, like, this is the part about Trump that I love. <laughs> because he's keeping me fresh on my, on my skills and my knowledge. <laughs> And the conversations I have with the retired attorney in my office keeps making her push me that she that, that she wants to see me go to law school. Oh yeah, too cool. Man. I love her. She's great. She's like, I told her she's my adopted mama. Yeah. So anyway, so they're saying that the judge denies the Stormy Daniels motion to depose Trump. That's not what this motion that they filed even was about. The fact of the matter is they can't deny the deposition of Trump due to Bill Clinton's hearing. It, Bill Clinton's hearing set a precedent that any, any act that, that a sitting president is being sued upon that happened before he was the sitting president, he can be deposed for. It has been set. It has been written in stone. This is now a legal case that will be referenced every time somebody wants to depose a sitting president over something he did before he was president. Right. Okay? So this was already established in the 90s, people. We're like 20 years into the... Well, yeah. God. Damn, we're old. <laughs> um, what, what, you're like all up in the light. I'm sorry. I'm, I had to go downtown today to the courthouse and the rain with all the trees and my allergies have been absolutely insane. You just used the last thing? I didn't use the last of it. I don't know what happened with the last of it. It was up here. I don't know. It was attacking me earlier. Okay. So. Where was I? The blown his nose. I mean. Um, press it. Okay, so the Bill Clinton, uh, Bill Clinton lawsuit took uh, set precedence for any 
sitting president to be allowed to be deposed for any allegation of misconduct that happened before he was president, period. So the fact that this isn't even what they filed for, what they filed for was to go ahead and have this heard by a jury. They want a trial by jury and they wanted to expedite discovery. Okay. Okay. So in a general process of a lawsuit, somebody files the first set of paperwork, which is that I'm suing you for this reason, this reason, this reason for these damages, right? Okay. Okay. Then the party has to be served with papers in a proper manner. Right. There are laws to how things have to be served. Okay. People get served. They have a certain amount of time, depending on your state or your federal regulations, to answer the lawsuit. Hmm. Okay. So... What the judge denied was the fact that it has already been indicated all over the place, national TV, blah, 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 that Trump's attorney is going to file a motion to compel the arbitration. Because supposedly this is an arbitration agreement and you're supposed to, before you take this to federal court, it's supposed to be heard by an arbitration committee, which they're jumping. So he's basically filed papers to keep it in arbitration. He hasn't filed them or, yet. No, he's supposed to. He's, he's claiming. He's, he's claiming that they're going to do this. Okay. So, so because of that, the judge is saying. Well, that's one of the reasons that the judge is saying that they're denying um, the the motion for a trial by jury. It's not that they don't have the right to ask for one. It's just that because there's going to be other paperwork filed that has to be decided on first, right. they're not going to do this out of order. Okay. Okay. So. So it's just a procedural denial. It's Yeah, it's a procedural denial. That's all it is. And not only that, but the other aspect to this whole thing that they didn't mention is that Michael Cohen, who is a part of this lawsuit because he's the one who paid the money, he was in charge of that cons- consultation firm or whatever, he has not yet been served properly with the paperwork in this lawsuit. Hmm. So you can't go ahead and ask for a trial by jury. If not all the parties have been served, you have to file the lawsuit. Everybody has to be served. Everybody has to be notified. Everybody has to have time well, to answer the lawsuit. You can't depose one of the witnesses until the other's been served or, or one of the plaintiffs? Well, no, this has nothing to do with the deposition. Okay. What a deposition is, is it's basically the attorneys and the parties sit down in a room with a court reporter. Right. And they ask questions under oath. That's just not in a courtroom. But it's basically to find out what witnesses or parties know and don't know. It makes going to trial less of a doing this back and forth and many, you know, it it makes things in the courtroom easier, essentially. But it's under oath, so it's still, like, if he lies, it's still perjury. It makes facts a matter of record. Right. Everything's in a record. A transcript is done. All the parties get a copy of the transcript to be able to read over. Every objection, every cough is recorded. I'm not even joking. So what farts. I don't know. I've never read it. I've never read a transcript where somebody farted, or at least that they've mentioned that somebody farted. What about that time you farted before? I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm not in court enough to do that. <laughs> so anyhow, what irritates me is the fact that this has nothing to do about the deposition. the The fact that they want to depose Trump has already been decided, and all they have to do is reference the case if anybody wants to question it. And in order for them to deny it, they have to have really good reason, which the only good reason would be is if this misconduct didn't happen before he was president. Right. That would be really the only way to deny a deposition of Trump at this point in time. As if it happened while he was president. As if it happened while he was president. That's crazy. Mm-hmm. So, so what about what about the whole idea that it's it can't even be arbitrated well, because that's they're what the, saying that that's, that he didn't know anything about. That's it. why Stormy Daniels' lawyers seem so cocky, and I freaking love I love his tactics though. Because this other attorney, <laughs> yeah, the, the Schultz or whatever this other guy is, he's a fucking moron. And right. and and, and uh, uh, Avanti, he's right. He's he's a moron just winging it. They have no idea what they're doing. Y- your um, great white nationalist dear leader Donald Trump sure seems to like fucking shysters. And so he already. And the good thing about about Daniels' attorney is he already has a plan. He knows that they're going to file this motion to compel. He knew that this was going to get denied. Excuse me. He knew that this was going to get denied. 
and the the game plan and he's laying it out for them they're going to file this motion to compel they're going to lose because it's not technically a correct agreement and we've already discussed why with the whole notary and his signature not being on it and he can't nobody can enter him into an arbitration agreement for him you know what i'm saying like i can't enter you into an arbitration agreement for you you have to enter yourself unless they unless he had surrendered a power, power of attorney, attorney as if he was like incapacitated, right? Well, I mean, there are exceptions to power of attorney. It doesn't have to be just because you're becoming incapacitated. Is, it, is there a temporary power of attorney just for one specific thing? Yes. Okay. Yes, but he would have to prove that that was done. But see, the thing that really bothers me about the um the uh, the NDA agreement or whatever that was signed, this arbitration thing that was signed is um, not only is Trump's signature not on there, but the fact that a notary actually notarized it like that. Right. That's against the law. You can lose your notary license for that. And if you're an attorney doing that, because attorneys are notaries, you can lose your your, your bar license for doing that. Like, that's that's a really big no-no. In fact, we're dealing with a case where um, a similar incident-ish happened. And it's it's going to go to trial this summer. Uh, a will was notarized. And falsely. we, uh, what we'll have to uh, leave that for the next episode of hashtag Log Gossip. Thanks to uh, uh, the Lost Begotten Channel's special legal correspondent <laughs> Kira Morris for her uh, wonderful explanation. Did I? I mean, did of, I explain that well? CNN's half-hearted explanation. Um, so anyways, it's fascinating, isn't it? Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm just completely sucked into this because it's like a, it's like watching a circus, really. Right. And like, from it, my perspective, I know what's going to happen next. So it's great. It's just like, it's, it, for me, it's the fun and how it plays out. Not the fact of of what the end result is going to be, because I have a pretty good idea what the end result is going to be. It's just how it's going to play out. It's just fascinating. And it's like, on the one hand, I would be a little angry, and I still am a little annoyed that this is distracting from the whole treason thing. But this is all going to tie back to it by verifying the, quote, salacious content of the dossier. It's all getting tied together with the money. Follow the money. Let's just say uh, Stormy Daniels and, and many of those kind of people, they call them porn actresses, um, they like the color gold. <laughs> okay. Okay. Y'all take it easy now. But don't take it all. Peace.